What is up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can humanize your hi-hats via some simple tips and tricks. Ready? Let's jump straight into the project. Okay, so I want to add some humanized bouncy hi-hats to this beat idea. So I've already prepared some one-shot hi-hat samples that we can use. So let's start by adding the classic open hi-hat sound. I have something like this. So the first thing we can do is that we can play with the envelope settings in FL Studio. So you go up to this icon up here and you select envelope. And then I want you to draw an envelope like this. So basically what this does is that when you press a note on your keyboard, according to how long the note is being held, you play out the whole sample. But if you just press really quickly, it's just gonna play a really short snippet of the hi-hat according to how long you have pressed the note. So I can do this and this. And you can just adjust the release knob according to if you want to have a little bit more of a tail when you release your note. The reason why this is really clever is that when we go to the piano roll, we can just draw like these basic offbeat patterns. But let's say that I want to make a small change to the last one, so it's a little bit shorter. So let's see here. So could you hear that? It just was a little bit shorter than the rest of the open hi-hats. And this is just a matter of playing around with a nice length of the note that fits the vibe. I think this is great. So I'm going to highlight everything and then I'm going to press Ctrl B on Windows to duplicate this across. Then go back to the playlist window and just create another pattern. I'm going to go back to the, the piano roll. So that's like one way that we can do some small changes. We can also do a little bit more so we can go and highlight some random notes here that we can also make a little bit shorter. Not as short as this one, but just a little bit shorter. So maybe something like this. The reason why I just chose some random notes instead of having each like second hit is just to add a little bit of like randomization and humanization to the, to the hi-hats. That's like the, the goal of this video. So this is one way that we can add a little bit of extra flavor. We can now go to the, the second thing, and that, it, that is to play with the velocities. So we can just do like really small changes. It doesn't have to be really crazy because we just want to add small amounts of changes throughout the hi-hats, throughout the, the track. And that's enough to add like a little bit more of like a humanized feeling. So what I'm gonna do now is just draw, like just inserting random values of the velocity. Just a little bit of reduction and increasing in the volume can just make these sound a little bit more alive instead of just having the same volume level, the same velocity level on this sample. It's just gonna sound a little bit static in my opinion. So this is one way to do it. Now we can actually dive more into the, the capabilities of the, the piano roll and that is to play around with the, note, the panning of the notes. So what we can do is that we can just draw again something a little bit random doesn't have to be like the same pattern that you are choosing. And be careful not going too crazy with the panning because it can be obvious that it's just being panned really hard to the left and right. So just my tip is to just try out with small value numbers and then you can increase them a little bit. That is sounding really nice. Like now you can hear like the movement for, for the hi-hats, that's pretty awesome in my opinion. So let's say what we can more do. I think we can do some fine tuning to the pitch as well. So we can go here now on the control and now we can try to pitch these down. And this is where we just do it like really subtle amount of, of fine pitching. If you look at this info screen up here, 
you can see like how much of the fine pitch is being applied. Like right now we are on like minus 200 cents. That's basically two minus two semitones. That can be a little bit too much. So I would rather go for like minus 40 or 20 or something. Let's try to pitch this up. This one down. Maybe also this one down and this one up. Like it's really like moving right now. I really dig this vibe. It's, give, it's giving it. So one more thing that you can do to add a little bit of like humanization to this hi-hat is that you can try to move stuff off grid. So we can do this in two ways. You can go and select everything. Then you can go up here and you can do quantize. And then you can use some of the quantization presets that you have in FL Studio. But Basically, I like to do this sometimes manually because I have a little bit more control. So we can go up here to the, uh, the snapping settings of the piano roll and we can set this to none because then it's not going to snap each note to the grid. And then I'm going to try to highlight a couple of notes, just random. Then we can zoom in. Then you can hold down shift and then use the arrow keys to just move it. So you can see we are now moving it a little bit. So that, and this is just really a subtle uh, shift we're gonna do. So something like this maybe can work. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna change this last one. I'm gonna do make, oh, sorry. I'm gonna make this a little bit longer. It was sounding a little bit like stopping too fast. So that's basically what we can do inside the piano roll, but we can also utilize some of the effects that we can add to the open hi-hat. So we can go and we can route this to a mixer track in FL Studio. So there is one really cool plugin that I love to use. It's called Effect Tricks. And basically what I want to do is that I want to use this component called Crush. It's kind of like a distortion bit crusher module. I'm going to draw a shape all the way through because I want to apply this effect all the way through the, the open hi-hat. Then I'm going to turn down the distortion to maybe like give it like 2% or something. Add a little bit of bit crush because it's going to add a little bit of like digital noise. Then I'm going to turn down the sample rate. I'm going to play around with this. Let's, let's listen to what it affects with the open hi-hats. So by increasing this bit crusher and playing around with the sample rate and also distortion, we actually get a little bit more of like a lo-fi vibe to the open hi-hats. They are being degraded a little bit. Let's just try to mute this and enable it. So we get a little bit more of the grid. So I'm going to turn up the channel volume a little bit. Really awesome. Hey there. So if you like this video, it would mean so much to me if you will smash that tiny subscribe button. It's right down there and it would mean so much to me. That's all. Thank you so much. Now let's get back into the video. So we can actually go back into effect tricks and use the phaser effect as well. I'm going to put this to a really slow rate and I'm going to turn down the mix of this one because I don't want it to be like an obvious effect. Like this is a little bit too much like so just around like 20 to 15 percent is like the sweet spot for me and it's just basically let's just do like this facing effect to the to the open hi-hats and it just adds a little bit more movement to to them really awesome okay so the last thing that we can do is that we can just play around with some with some closed hi-hats that i have added so we can just try to, I'm going to route this to the same 
mix the track as the open hi-hat because I like that bit crossing effect and the phaser. So let's just play around with some small bits here and there. Okay, so I've actually made like a really cool small jingle here and I'm, then I'm gonna highlight everything and then duplicate this across. So now we can actually here, I would love to use that quantization possibility that we have inside FL Studio. So I will go to wrench and click quantization. So we get this shuffling feel. And I think also I would like to go and fine tune the pitch. So I'm gonna go to the fine tune pitch and just decrease this for some of the notes just to make this sound a little bit more alive. Really cool. Also, maybe a little bit of like panning. So I can see that FL Studio remembered the last panning of the node. So it's actually panned a little bit all the nodes for me. Thank you, FL Studio. So let's just do something like this. We can also go in and do the same thing with the envelope settings. So just create this shape here so we can play around with making the notes a little bit shorter. So we can try to make this. just a matter of actually just trying out uh, and listen to the vibe it's adding but right now we're having like some really groovy hi-hats in my opinion okay so one extra thing we can do to add a little bit of accent to to the hi-hats is that we can take the open hi-hat we just go and pitch it down here turn down the volume a lot maybe also pan them really hard to the right so we get something that's like just sitting there Just really like low in volume, but it's just adding some extra texture to some of the, the hits in the notes here. And I think this is a really great way to add a little bit of extra ear candy. Same thing with the closed hi-hats. So maybe play with areas around here. And I think I will pan this to the left instead. Just to play in the stereo field. And we can have this here. And right now I'm actually not doing, like I'm not snapping to the grid and that's on purpose. Because now each time I place a note, it's not exactly on the same spot. If you're on really good uh, headphones or speakers, you can definitely hear that this is adding something to the width of the hi-hats. Yeah, so that's actually it for the, the hi-hats. So just one thing that I want to mention is that the kick drum and the claps and also the bass line is actually from some of my sample packs. 
And if you're interested in them, you can go check them out. The link is in the description down below. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed like this video on doing some humanizing to your hi-hats. This is basically what I do most of the time to add some really cool vibes to my hi-hats. Okay guys, if you like this video, it means so much to me if you smash that like button or even subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss any future video on the channel. I've also launched a Discord server for like-minded producers, a place where we can share our ideas, get feedback, provide feedback, generally just have a nice place to hang out and talk about music. And I really want you to get involved if you want to. You can join the Discord via the link in the description down below. So I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, peace.